welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ann Page. Today we're going to be doing Dad Does My Voiceover while I'm doing my makeup. What is going on? I'm about to commentate my daughter putting on makeup. So right off the bat, we're going to start with a little face spritzer. Uh, she had some kind of liquid in a bottle that she spritzed her face with, and now she's just taking out uh, some kind of lotion. She's going to apply freckles all over her face, a couple on the cheeks, uh, a lot on the chin, a couple on the forehead, and just rub this stuff in. This stuff works wonders. If you've never applied freckles to your face, you're really missing out. Uh, I don't know what this cream is, but if you uh you could probably go to the store and get you some and you definitely got to wave your face that way you look like a pelican um flapping their wings uh you're gonna rub that in and next up we have a shiny bottle that i can't see uh i don't know what it is but she's definitely gonna put it on her finger like the last one and and squeeze all she can out and then uh, let's see what she does with it oh imagine that gonna apply it on her face so she's going to put it everywhere, I'm sure, blend it in. Yep, there she goes. She's going to blend it in. Um, probably a, an additional moisturizer to help make the makeup stick because uh, I guess makeup sticks better when your face is wet. Who knows? So she went from spritz to lotion to this. Uh, this I don't know what it is, but she's showing us. It's a real shiny bottle. And let's see what it is. She's about to open it. Oh, there she goes. She opened it. And it's even got a little brush. So it's got the makeup inside. She's painting on war streaks. Uh, putting it on her face. Looks like she's putting on, applying some war paint. Uh, I can't really tell what color it is. But she's definitely going at it. Putting dots. Putting stripes. And look, guys. I got a brush. This is probably my first brush of many. I'm going to sit here and use it and blend in all the stuff I was doing. Blend in the war paint. Blend in the stripes. Blend in the... The moisturizers. Uh, looks like next up, I'm going to blend in around my eyes. I don't even remember putting anything in my eyes. And check this out. Another brush. Yeah, this one's a little bit cleaner, guys. I know you were wondering if I was going to use the same brush. But no, this one's a little bit cleaner. And I'm going to use this Hoola right here. It's one of my favorites. I open the lid just like this. I grab the brush. I take out all the stuff. And I dab, dab, dab. Oh, da, da. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. And blow that off. And then here I come. Look at this. Oh, streaks right down the side of my face. I'm going to do this side right here. And then I'm going to look and do this side. This side I'm going to spend a little bit more time on. Uh, maybe hit it twice. Go up a little higher. Do this one more time. And then, uh, oh, oh, oh. I got to do right under my chin. I can't forget to get under my chin because uh, that's where uh, most of the color comes from. That's going to be the... Uh, that, that's going to be where my uh, chin bones see. Oh, look at this, guys. I bet you didn't know I was going to use a third brush. Let me blend in some of that hula makeup. Blend it around my face, around my chin bones, forehead. And I, fourth brush, and this one has stuff on it. I'm actually going to check it out, make sure that uh, it's the one I want. I'm going to read it into my... Uh, my tackle box of makeup goods. I'm going to use this little notebook right here with six different makeups on it. And I'm probably going to focus on these two off to the side. I'm going to mix them because who likes one color? Maybe you mix it with two colors and dab, dab, dab on this side, dab, dab, dab on that side. And then you're going to take a fifth brush, take all those dabs, and then you're going to just blend them right in. So now with the hula and the dabs and, and that thing, what is that thing? Oh, another brush this is a hybrid brush it's a little bit different from the other ones see i put makeup on it guys just in case you didn't know uh but i'm gonna go right here along my cheekbones where i was putting the hula and i like to make a couple lines at the top one on each side i like to make sure they're straight and go up into my hair i like to make a little line going down my nose and put a little dot on my nose like rudolph uh, it's getting close to christmas so i am in the spirit uh i'm gonna pour some of this out into I don't know what it is, but it looks like I don't want to dip anything in there. And a sixth brush. I'm going back to the big brushes. Oh, it was a cap. So she's putting some in a cap, and she's going to outline her eyeballs just right there at the bottom. Kind of get real ghostly. Who knows? Uh, outline it. It's, it's almost like the way the football players do it underneath their eyes. That's what she was doing. She's going to apply it to her cheeks, the other eye. I've noticed that's where she's putting a lot of the focus. Oh, some morph. She's got a morph notebook with a hundred different colors on there. 
uh i know you can't see them but inside each color right here there's uh multiple colors so i know you probably see 20 colors but uh in in person it's like 100 believe me so i'm gonna apply uh some of these colors right here to my eyelid because i want my eyelids to pop because later on if i end up doing my mascara it's gonna really complement the mascara so this brush right here is my favorite one. I'm going to touch this one right here. If you didn't know, uh, that's the one I want. It's my favorite one. It's the one uh, that I use the most. I'm going to paint my eye again right about here. Look at myself. And paint this one right about here. And, oh, look at this one. I'm not going to use this one. But it's got paint. It's got some in there. No, I'm going back to this one. I tricked you. All right, so I'm going to pick a different color. This one right here, put it on my brush, and I'm just going to fade and blend the other color in with this one. I'm just going to kind of do this little light to dark fade. Oh, that looks good. Uh, look, I'm going to do it again. Other side, look at that. Fade it in, fade it in, fade it in. Oh, this one, and you get to see it twice. Uh, oh, look, I went back to the other notebook and you can clearly see that i like this one the most this one has a little mirror so i'm gonna use that mirror and i'm gonna blend some of this stuff in use this other pin thing i'm gonna kind of pin out my eyebrows because uh i want them to be uh i want them to pop i just want them to look sharp uh guys if you don't ever do this to your eyebrows you're really missing out you got to get these pins i really think it's a a sharpie you can probably get them at office depot uh i pick mine up from uh dollar tree yeah i get them real cheap I get them for like a dollar 99 uh, i'm gonna brush these up a little bit and look oh yeah i got these eyeball uh these eyeball removers whoa it was surprising look at that uh eyebrow remover eyeball removers and well looks like i'm only gonna do one eyeball uh, i got this blue stuff and Oh, no, that's mascara. I know what mascara is, so I'm going to sit here and apply mascara. Look, oh, look how high I can lift up my eyelid. I can almost have my eye pop out of its socket. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, get the other one. So that was a technique, guys. If you didn't know, so what I do is I sit there and I crimp my eyelash on one side and then put mascara on both sides. And then I'm going to reach over here, spritz my face one more time. I'm going to bring it to a close. Challenge me to do the one chip challenge. So if you're watching this judo chop challenge accepted and also the secret word for this video is Jumbo, please Pepper. Okay, thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and turn on post notifications and subscribe